Well, today sees the release of a brand new film. It's called Train Spotting. You've probably heard about this. Uh, it's uh, been much maligned uh, in the press and on Newsnight as well last night. They dedicated half the programme to it uh, for doing uh, a lot of bad towards the youth of today. Uh, not as much bad has been seen since Kurt Cobain's health and fitness video. And <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. It's, uh, it's about one man and one drug. The man is called Mark Renton and the drug is called heroin. Relinquishing junk, stage one, preparation. For this you will need one room which you will not leave. Soothing music, tomato soup, ten tins of. Mushroom soup, eight tins of, for consumption cold. Ice cream, vanilla, one large tub of. Magnesia, milk of, one bottle. Paracetamol, mouthwash, vitamins, mineral water, said, pornography. One mattress, one bucket for urine, one for feces and one for vomitus. One television and one bottle of Valium, which I've already procured from my mother, who is, in her own domestic and socially acceptable way, also a drug addict. Well, that's just a little bit of the film. Uh, Mark Renton is played by Ewan McGregor. Here we go. Film and you and McGregor in real life. So, uh, you in a busy week for you. Yes. Everybody's talking about your film. Now, you are pretty cool in the film, but doesn't it worry you slightly just a little bit that uh, if young kids see it, they may, they may be tempted to get, get involved in, in acting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worries me a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, what kind of criticisms have been levelled at the film that you've heard about? I mean, obviously, you expected all this. Well, yeah, there's the whole kind of school of thought that, that the film will encourage people to do heroin. But they're. Uh, well, it won't, so there you are. But so who's, who's saying this? Who, this? The same old gang? I don't know who's saying it. No friends of mine are saying that. And do, are they claiming that it glorifies drugs? What are they saying? Yeah, people say it glorifies drugs, but it doesn't really. I mean, it, 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 shows the, it shows the pleasures of drugs up until a point in the movie, and then by the end of the movie, you're left in, uh, you're left in no doubt that um, Heroin isn't a good idea, you know. You know Jeremy Paxman stuck up for you last night on Newsnight? Yeah, good Jeremy. Oh, yeah. 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 He said, hang on a minute, I've been to see this film, there's no I'm way it glamorises drugs. It's not glamorising drugs So let's at all. just move on. Yes. So they moved on? Yeah, nice one. So, so what's the most outrageous uh, claim that you've heard against it? I don't know, that, that after you've seen it, that you want to go out and uh, buy a, you know, a couple of grams of heroin or something. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and why is it called Trainspoint? Because there's no, I mean, why? It, it's to do with, um, kind of, uh, being uh, addicted to something, being interested in something, and it, 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 it makes a reference to... Heroin addicts going from point to point on their main line. You do know all about this, don't you? Know something about it. Yeah. <laughs> lots of research. No, but lots of research went into it because didn't you have to? Did you have to practice jacking up? What? Happened? Yeah, we did. We had a, we had a, a whole kind of cookery class with this guy called Eamon from the Canton Athletic Club, who uh, we worked with to do with research for the film and who uh, encouraged us to do the film and who are a bunch of great guys who are recovering addicts and they don't use methadone. They don't use any kind of state-sponsored addiction kind of. Thing. But you actually so, had to, you got five syringes each, didn't you? And you had to do it until you, till you looked like you were doing it properly. No, someone said we had five syringes each. We only had the one. Sorry. But anyway, we did, we, we, <laughs> we tried right. to jack it out. No. I don't think numbers matter. We got our cookery class from these, uh, the, 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 drug, the ex drug, uh, drug addicts. And, uh, you know, practiced cooking up and then injected it into an orange. Into an orange? Yes. Is that how you do it? Yeah. It's held an orange. It's horrible. I mean, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. Now, people are complaining about the film. Is there anything that you'd like to complain about at the moment? Because I don't think it's very fair. So is there anything you... No, I don't you, think so. I don't think by the time you've watched the film, I think no, the people... No, not about that... the film. I just mean in general in life. Oh, you, and, they're all whinging about your damn film. Do you want to whinge about anything? Is there anything on your mind? Yeah, yeah, lots of things. Well, go on, have a all go right, at it. let's have a go at, um... <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> they're all... Look, you and they're all moaning at your film. Yeah, it's yeah. not fair. Go on, have a whinge uh, back at something else. What's on your mind? Let, let's have a go at uh, the, the Conservative government. Oh, bloody For a start. <laughs> I'm in trouble let's again. Let's have a go at them for just fucking everything. No, no you can't! <laughs> no. No. 
the night. You and, I mean, so much. Class A mistake. Do you realise how much trouble Class I'm in Class A mistake. Do you realise how much trouble... Once again, I apologise for the language <laughs> of my first guest. On Wednesday, we got a letter from the ITC who can find me, right, and take me off the air. Did they put you in jail? They could do all that kind of stuff, yeah. Me and Jarvis together. I like to... let's, let's complain about Michael Jackson for thinking that he is, in fact, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Well, there is that. Yeah. But I think you and you have to bear in mind that, that if he is, Frick. we're in big trouble. Yeah, no. There but... is that, I suppose. Now, you're going to America on Monday, aren't you? Yes. Tell us about that. Big I'm films. going to America to do a film called Night Watch. Uh, you don't uh, have to rush. Scary right. thriller. Uh, scary thriller set in America, made by um, some Danish guys uh, in Denmark, and wind it up. Uh, made it, made there, and uh, being uh, in the true American style, remaking set in America. So you're 24 years old. You're going to be a big star. You ready for it? I'm 24 years old and going to make a film in America. That's all. Are oh, you going to be a big star? You're described as one of the finest actors in Britain today. Yeah. 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 Well, hope, we hope you remember this is one little stepping stone along the way, Ian. I'll That's always right. remember you as being my biggest <laughs> stepping stone, Chris. Thank you very much, Ian. Uh, now, anybody that swears gets a kiss because obviously he feels bad about having done that to my show. Now, still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Hugh McGregor.